Zenworks Configuration Management provides distinctive features that allow you to manage your software on your machines. This allows you to do things such as determine where the user is logged in at and provide that user with the applications that they need to get their job done. Additionally, it can determine their location so that if they are in a location where a different application, maybe a terminal server application, is better than a locally installed app, you can provide those as well. In this particular case, I have a Windows 7 workstation, and on this Windows 7 workstation, I'm logged in as a member of the IT department. Here you'll see on the Start menu that there is this folder called Corporate Applications, which is being managed by Zenworks. If I drill in there, you'll see I have two subfolders, a beta applications, because the IT department is beta testers for our company, and I have core. Core is all of my normal applications that everybody is going to use in the company. What I've done in this particular instance is Microsoft Office 2010 is targeted and assigned to all of my devices. I'm paying Microsoft, we have a corporate agreement, therefore we can put Microsoft Office 2010 on all of our machines. However, for beta applications, I don't want everybody to get those, just particular users. So I've made the Firefox 4 application, which is actually a Zenworks application virtualization packaged app and delivered that with Zenworks. The IT user sees this beta applications folder and the Firefox 4. When the user clicks that Firefox 4 application, it goes ahead and the first time that they run this application, or if that application has changed, it will bring down an updated version. However, if it's not changed, then you'll see it just launches the application, as was the case here. In order to make this happen, I've created what are called bundles. Inside of the Zenworks Control Center, on the bundles page, you can define objects to represent each of your applications. So in this case, I've created a set of applications to represent Microsoft Office. You'll see I have one core application that does the installation, and then I have applications that the users are going to use to launch the application. The advantage that you have over doing a Zenworks delivered icon versus a traditional icon on the Windows desktop is that you can control what happens at launch. It can be self-healing, and you can also control availability of that icon. You'll see here on the Actions tab of the bundle that we divide the life cycle of the application into five distinct states. The distribution of the application occurs the first time that you launch the application if the content for this application is stored in the content repository. The content repository is a replicated, secure file system that is stored on each of your primaries and satellites. This allows you to upload the content once and then have users get it from their closest server. The Install tab typically determines what happens the first time that a user launches an application. In this case, you'll see the install for Microsoft Word actually calls a different bundle, so you have the ability to chain applications. That will then go and run the setup executable from a public share. Now, depending on the application, an install may have any one or any number of these following actions. So you see we can do simple things like installing MSIs, we can launch executables, we can simply install some files from the content repository or copy files from a UNC path. You can add n number, how many ever it takes to get your install application with very little scripting. There are several out there who will let you script everything you want, but nobody makes it as easy to control this process as Novell does. The Launch tab then controls what happens in subsequent launches. This allows you to determine, let's say for instance with Microsoft Word, I could say all I really want to have happen is launch this executable, which in this case launches Microsoft Word. However, some people like to make sure that the normal dot dot or the default template is updated every time that the application runs. This prevents macro viruses from attacking you. So you could actually make this so that you add in an action for install files above the launch executable, point at a good copy of the normal dot dot, and every time that the user launched the application from the Zenworks delivered shortcut, it would first make sure that the normal dot dot was the correct file before launching it. Verify allows you to define what happens if an application breaks. How can I fix that? Typically, it just redoes what the install tells it to do. If it's an MSI, it calls the Microsoft installer to do the verify. Uninstall allows you to define a set of actions that should occur when you're doing either an automatic uninstallation 
or an uninstall that's been triggered by the user. And terminate actually allows you to set a schedule on this application. So you could make that icon available from 8 to 5, and the terminate behavior here defines what happens if a user is in that application at 5 p.m. Typically, it's going to prompt them and tell them they need to save their data, give them a certain amount of time, and then kick them out. You can determine, however, if you wanted it to do other things, delete files, do anything like that. So with Zenworks Configuration Management then, in addition to being able to determine the full life cycle through these five action sets, you can then also target this application at either devices or users. We do that through assignments. So you'll see on the Relationships tab, you have the ability to assign applications either to devices or to users in the system. When making user assignments, those can be done to either locally created groups or to domain or e-directory groups or users. So you'll see here, I could assign this application if I wanted to the domain users group in my domain, and all users that were a member of the domain would receive this application. In this particular case for Microsoft Office, you'll see that this has been added to a bundle group. And when I go into the bundle group, there are the rest of the Microsoft Office applications, and they've been assigned to these dynamic groups. Therefore, they're device assigned. They will always be available on those devices. For my Firefox application, the assignment is different. So if I look at the Relationships tab here, it's a member of this beta group, and in there, it's been assigned to the beta testers user folder. That's how come the IT guy gets access to it because he's part of the beta testers group. The last feature that is unique to Zenworks when it comes to software management is the ability to do what we refer to as location awareness. So I can set a system requirement and say that this particular application should only be available in certain locations. And you'll see I've defined several. I've got unknown, retail, admin, home, and Novell office. This allows me to then say this particular application, say Firefox 4, should only be available to the user when they're in the office. To determine where the user is at, we have the locations defined here, and you can actually define a location based on any number of combination of these conditions, gateway, DNS, DHCP, access points, client IP, client DNS, dial-up. This basically means that you can build very discrete networks, even in a case where you're using like a 192.168 network, and be sure that you're getting the right targeting. So with these features, Novell makes it very easy to make sure that all of your users have access to the applications they need, no matter where they are, and get the best possible experience as they're trying to get their work done. Thank you.